Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here today because today is a video I've been so excited to film. It is the autumn TBR video, which is also my autumn equinox for Magical Ridaton Aurelium TBR. I don't know if you remember, but I have taken part in the Magical Ridaton Aurelium Novice Path in September and then also the Gear Up that took place I think in March um, and then I also planned in for April when we had the Spring Equinox however this video never got out to you so I never told you what calling I chose or what books I planned to read or what I read so I will just sum up now what uh, happened. I will not go through all the books, there will be a separate video, but now I will be talking about the Autumn Equinox and yeah, if you don't know what the Magical Readathon is, it is a readathon created by G. Basically you create your own character and you read prompts to improve this character's abilities, knowledge, knowledge and skills. And I will link her announcements down below uh, so you can check out for yourself if you want to join. You can always join even if you haven't heard about the readathon before. So just go check it out. It is so much fun. I am just like... I never been as excited for a YouTube video as I was when she was releasing the Autumn Equinox announcement. So yeah, it's just a great community of people reading books. So it's so much fun. And here goes my TBR. So to start with, um, basically what determines what prompts you're going to have is what calling you choose for your character. And for my character, I chose calling the Beastmaster. So there was five books to read in the Spring Equinox, which I read all of them. And this Autumn Equinox is a little bit more demanding, basically exams. And so there is seven prompts for me to fulfill to pass the Autumn Equinox and to pass the exams. So now I will go through all the prompts that I have for the Autumn Equinox and I will tell you what book I chose and then I will go through the quest that I would like to do if I will have any time left. So let's begin. For the classes to pass, each calling has different requirements and these are O, Q, and D. So basically if you need D in some subject there are three prompts for you to fulfill because you need to go through O, Q and D. So you need to fulfill all three prompts. If you have you need Q then you have two prompts to fulfill. Anyway I will just go quickly through it. So I have four subjects I have to take exam in. First of them is I need elemental studies and in this I need O. Uh, so that's the first prompt and only one prompt. And the prompt is start a book with a drink. So basically any drink, any book I want to read, I just need to start it with a drink. And for this I chose to read a book I have borrowed from library and I need to return at the end of the month. And that is The Book of Longings by Siu Mong Kid. I adore this cover and I don't know, it just has book in the title and I like it. What it is about, it is I think a historical fiction, speculative fiction about Jesus and I think Jesus' is sister or stepsister and she is the main character and basically we just follow her dealing with her family of Jesus, J Judas and all these religious like the family and yeah, I actually have no idea but I like the sound of it and this is the first book on the TBR. So that's for the elemental studies. And then I need D in animal studies because B is master, so I need to study my animals very well. <laughs> so there I need D, that's the highest mark, so I have three prompts. So the first prompt for O is book with a familiar or animal companion. Now for this I had a couple options, but one that is kind of a short book and it was also suggested in the Twitter recommendations is How to Stop Time by Matt Haig. And his books are always a very quick read, so that's also why I chose this. You can see there is a dog on the cover. So I do believe a dog will play a big part 
I am actually not sure, I couldn't find it anywhere if the dog plays a big part in the story, but it was as a recommendation on Twitter and I am excited to read this because I love Matt Haig's writing. So this is the second book on the TBR. Then for animal studies, for Q, we need a raven on a cover or in the title. With this one I struggled a little bit because I do not own any books with raven in the title and I don't think I have any books with raven on the cover either. However, I do have one book that there is a bird or two birds on the cover and I think at least one of them looks kind of similar to a raven. So I'm going to say it is a raven, even though it's probably not. Most likely it's not, but here we go. The Pool of the Stars by Emma Donohue. You can see this is the bird. Obviously it's not raven, but this guy kind of looks like it. Like, look at the head. This, I think, looks enough like a raven. So I'm going to be reading this book. Again, I'm not sure what it is about. Um, Dublin 1918. So it's going to be uh, set during the World War I in Dublin, in Ireland. Um, I assume historical fiction. And yeah, um, I'll be reading this. And the last prompt for the animal studies is rabbit on the cover or in the title. And for this, I struggled also because I don't have any book with rabbits on the cover, or not that I know of. Um, but then again, I was going through the recommendations on Twitter, and there was one, it's called The Opposite of Butterfly Hunting, and it is a memoir by Evanna Lynch, who became famous for playing Luna Lovegood in the Harry Potter movies. And yeah, I just uh, admire her as an actress and as a human being because she's also vegan and she's speaking out, she's an animal activist, so I admire her. And this is the, her memoir and she also narrated the audiobook, so I'm really excited to read that. And there is a bunny on the cover, so that's a perfect choice for this prompt, I think. Uh, next subject I need is alchemy and in this O is enough, so the first prompt only, and that is book on someone's worst list that you think you might like. And for this I went with a book I was supposed to read last month, however I didn't get to it unfortunately, and I know it is a book that for example G didn't like at all, and I loved a book by this author before, and I just assume I might like this one as well, and it is The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. Um, it is a fantasy about... Yeah, I am not 100% sure what this book is about, but I'm really excited. Look, this is the library book and it has pretty... Um, I don't know, painting on the edge. Uh, anyway, this is the, my choice for the <laughs> alchemy prom. And then we have one more subject. And in this subject we need a cue, so that's two prompts. So the first prompt is a single object as the focus of the cover. And for this I chose If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. And yeah, I think the little bird on the cover, I feel like that's the single subject as the focus of the cover. And yeah, that's one of the 12 books I'm supposed to read in 2022. And I'm going to be reading it. I'm honestly not really sure what it is about. It is a dark ac academy book. Um, so I think there is some kind of mystery at the university, students, I'm not sure, I'm excited. <laughs> and then the last prompt is one of the oldest books on your TBR. And for this I went through, the, my, through my list because I have a list of books and when I bought them, so I know exactly what are the long books that I have longest on my TBR. And the book I have longest on my TBR that I bought the longest time ago and haven't read is also the shortest book from Between Those, and it is How to Create a Vegan World by uh, Tobias Leonard. This book I bought at uh, Mr. Leonard's uh, presentation uh, when he had uh, when he held the speech. I have it even signed with uh, my name there, and yeah, it is like 170 pages long. And I'm really excited to finally get to this. So that's book for that. And then that's basically all that I have to read for my calling. 
And then there are some quests that I was thinking I could try if I have time. So for that I have four quests that I'm interested in. And so for this first quest is they must be stopped. And for this, this is a specifically Patreon prompt. And for this one the prompt is three words title. And for that I chose the guest list by Lucy Foley. Um, I have this from a library. I was supposed to return it about two weeks ago, but I still haven't read it. So I will be starting with this one actually. This is my first book, so I'm starting with a quest. How smart. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a mystery or a thriller set on an island, remote island off of the coast of Ireland, uh, where there is a very fancy wedding and something happens and we are just trying to figure out in this closed setting what happened. And yeah, sounds really cool. So that's for the first quest. The second quest I'm thinking of is paid animal therapy. And for this the prompt is more than one animal on the cover or in the title. For this I chose Cersei by Madeline Miller. And you can see how many animals there are on the cover. You can see an owl, there is a bug, there is a dragonfly, and there is a scorpion here, and snake, butterfly, yeah. Tons, tons of animals, and yeah, if I get to this, I'll be very happy. Oh, and um, this is basically a Greek mythology retelling about Circe. And I read, so far, I read one Greek mythology retelling and I absolutely loved it, so I'm excited to read more. <laughs> So if I get to this, I'll be very, very excited to read it. Another book or another prompt, another quest I would be interested in trying is Amphibian Wranglers Wanted. For this, the prompt is author name starts with B or F. And for this, I chose to read The King's Hundred by Karen Biggs. And this is, again, book recommended to me, uh, 12 books I should read in 2022. And I actually have no idea what it's about. No clue. Cool. Is it kind of romance? YA, I think? I'm not sure, but I'm interested to try. I think it's very not popular, maybe it's even self-published book. And I was recommended, and when I was recommended this, the author was even sharing it, that uh, how excited she was that uh, her book is on this recommendation. So she was excited. And the last book, or the last quest, that I would be interested for now is Guild Events Preparations and the prompt is Buddy Read a Book and for this I would really really like to read another book that I was supposed to read in July and I haven't gotten to and that's The Girl with the Louding Voice by Abby Dare uh, but I still need to find someone to buddy read it with I still haven't found someone who would like to buddy read this book with me this month that's all uh, this all being said, I will not be doing the Green Books for All book club this month either. I will come back in September when it's not going to be as hectic with the readathon. Uh, so keep an eye out for that because I'm planning a big organized thing to do. Uh, so you can keep an eye out on everything and uh, if you want to join you can plan it as well. So it's not gonna be only one month ahead but longer than that. And then also I will kind of take part in the Polarton hosted by Jade. There are no official prompts, so I will be reading all these books that I just mentioned. What it's trying to do is support the conservation of wildlife on Arctic and conservation of Arctic itself and especially polar bears. And so Jade suggested or Jade is doing, donating one pound for every hundred pages she reads in this month. And so I would like to do the same. So I will donate one uh, euro or 10 Swedish crowns for every 100 pages I will read this month to the polar bear watchers I think it's called I will link it down below I will link down below Jade's video and yeah it's very simple because you don't need to plan any special TBR you just count what you are reading you don't even have to donate for every 100 pages you can donate every book you read or whatever fits you just a little support, even if you just talk about it to your followers, to your friends, to your family, so you don't even have to donate, just raise awareness uh, about this climate change and the climate crisis and how it's influencing Arctic and polar bears. Uh, that's just fantastic. And uh, yeah, I think that's all for this 
month's TBR. This is a chonker. That's a lot of books. But I'm so excited because the Magical Readathon, I'm always so motivated to read and I always finish all the books and I read a lot these months. So this is the plan. I'm really excited. Let me know if you read any of these books. And thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!